Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Mastin, that's Zim Tech Guy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add text if you're a beginner in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. So let's get into it. Now, um, as you can see, I already have footage here. This is just footage of someone typing. I downloaded this from Pexels. All right, so let's say we want to add text. First, we need to locate uh, this panel here that is twos, and uh, we can locate this T here, written type two. You can also access it by pressing T on your keyboard. So let's just click on it. And as you can see, it's already highlighted in blue here. And let's move to our video footage. Let's just click there. And I'm sure the moment I clicked on the video, you saw that uh, an object was created on the timeline, which is more like your video footage. And uh, let's just type out maybe this is text. Uh, this is text and uh, yeah that's it you've already added text to your footage as you can see uh, the text itself is not the prettiest so how we can affect these changes we need to locate what's called the essential graphics panel I think this was starting from it should be 2018 we got the essential graphics panel go under Windows if you can't see a, a essential graphics panel and make sure that it is ticked here. If it's ticked, this window will appear here, written, uh, this panel will appear, written essential graphic. And we want to highlight where it says this, uh, this is text. When we highlight it, you see additional settings which you're able to change. For starters, there's uh, this one here, uh, under the align and transform uh, part of the panel here. When you click uh, this, this is to align it dead center. And this is to align, exactly, this is to align it, um, vertically center and this is horizontally center so this everything here has to do with alignment here uh, you can also move uh, if you click and drag here you can also change the position of the text so let me just add, drag it here and drag it maybe to the bottom here um, I also want to make sure that I change the text so let me just come on the video here and highlight the text again and let's see if we can find a beautiful font or at least a font that we can uh, be able to use all right let's say i want to use this one written no no esther just click on it um okay let me just change the title maybe to zim zim tech guy okay so a few things i can do with this maybe i can even change the color uh, we'll come here under fill, just click on it and uh, let's make it what? Um, let me just make my footage maybe yellow, bright yellow. Just click on that. Right, here's my footage. Let me just highlight it again. I can also add a stroke if I want. Let me just click on this stroke and uh, the stroke color is white and it's uh, one pixel uh in width so let me see if i can add that okay i don't want to go overboard with it uh, okay so there's my text it's not the prettiest let's see if we can uh maybe reduce that that stroke yeah maybe something like this and then we can also add a shadow you can see additional settings for a shadow already here you can change uh maybe the distance the angle um just a whole lot of stuff so essentially that's how you add text now you can see that when i clicked here i added uh, another text layer in the essential graphics panel so even when i type out maybe um let me just type out youtuber you just highlight that uh maybe even change text let's just go for something maybe pt sans um regular okay let's just reduce the font and maybe let's change the color to to white the beauty about um okay and just let's just drag it here okay it's not the prettiest 
but just for to show you what you can do with the essential graphics panel uh, you can highlight these separately you can even delete them if you not uh, if you don't want any you can just highlight that delete so essentially this is how you add text in adobe premiere pro now on the timeline here uh, obviously if you come to the end of uh, the text object here you can drag it to increase the length of the footage you can even make it shorter or longer depending on how long you want the, the footage to stay on the video for um yeah let's see if you highlight the text again if, if you come under the effects controls here you can also even make uh, changes let's say you just want to add the scale you can also add scale here but i wouldn't advise in doing that i think if you just utilize the essential graphics panel it will it will work for you um yeah you can do a lot of things you can change your scale opacity because this text object here is just treated like any other video footage on the timeline especially if you're using the effects control but if you want more tighter controls that's when you go to the essential graphics panel so that's how you add text in adobe premiere pro Right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions in regards to uh, working with text in Adobe Premiere Pro, please let me know. Otherwise, see you in the next video.